Hey guys, it's Peter, Jason Seal and Scott Poon fan here, and today's video we're going to be doing part two of my top eight worst movies 2023. Yesterday, eight was Love Again, seven was Champions, six was Nimona, five was uh, Trolls Band Together, and uh, four was Ghosted. So anyways, let's do part two. We're going to go through the podium finishes now. So starting off at number three, we have Meg to the Trench. Arrgh, this is one of the worst shark movies I've ever seen. Seen. Is it this movie the one of the worst shark movies I've ever seen? No, I have seen worse. Uh, so, so this movie is generally one of the worst excuses for any shark movie I've ever seen. And it definitely isn't the best shark movie to watch. My message to you, shark, shut up, Meg. Anyways, this one, it's debatable whether this one is worse than movies like, uh, say, uh, like Shark Night from 2011, The Shallows from 2016, or um, Sharknado from 2013. But this one's right up there with them. Anyways, num worst shark movie ever made. Worse than, worse than The Shallows. It's up there with The Shallows as the worst shark movie ever made. Anyways, number two, we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh, why on earth this movie was ever released? I don't know. This is from a guy... This is mainly around the time when there was loads of horror remakes everywhere. There was, like, the Grinch horror remake. And this one happens to be just bad. This is one of the worst horror movies ever made. Worse than It Lives Inside, which didn't even make the cut on this list. And, uh... The tagline is like, we'll be friends forever, won't we? No, we won't be friends forever, because this is a horror movie. A movie. I'm definitely not buying this on DVD, and thank God it's rated R, because no one should be seeing this movie. In fact, don't even watch this. In fact, anyways, I'm about to go through number one. Number one movie is... 84 Brady. Why on earth this movie was ever released in theaters? That question will never be answered. Anyways... This is the most atrocious comedy movies I've ever seen. It is one of the worst comedy movies I've ever seen in, in, in the entire world. And what's worse about it is that this, the trailer for this appeared on uh, the ad breaks of uh, That 70s Show on 9 Go. And I was like, oh, this is the most atrocious movie ever. And I was right. Tom Brady, you should have just stuck to football and the TB12 method. So anyways, that's it for another... Uh, Another hour for the worst movies of 2023. So if you like my content, the please be sure to comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. After you've done that, you'll be notified with new videos on my channel. And I'll see you again later tonight. Mm. Cheers.